hey guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel in case you're new here hi my name is obosha and welcome to the slay squad so for today's video i thought i should share for you guys my planning and organization tips as i go on you know throughout the activities on my day so if my location or outfit changes is because i'm doing this as i go through my day so before i get into the video i usually get questions when i change my hair so this is the brand that i have on my hair it's by silly hair and i did ship it in I have um, two 14 inch bundles and one 14 inch frontal. This is my first day with the hair, so I can't really comment about the quality, but the frontal is very, very transparent. So I will link them down below in the description bar in case you want to check them out. So on to the tips. So the first tip is going to be about tracking your expenses which for me personally i just think it's very important just that you can be able to know where exactly your money is going what you're spending most on for example when i first got this app yes it's an app actually come to think of it most of them are apps so when i first got the app i discovered that a huge percentage of my income went to food specifically kfc so i had to start cutting down because i really couldn't justify the amount of kfc i was buying and the app is called manify here oh i'll actually just put a screenshot here of how it looks like i'd like to show you guys exactly how it looks like on my phone but then again it has all my financial details but if i can explain how the app works so you have different categories so you add in things that you spend money on and for me personally i add every single tiny item like airtime i have um, clothes eating out entertainment eyebrows i even put in eyebrows i put in fuel hair manicures and pedicures taxi travel things i spend on youtube and it also has a section for incomes so you put in your different streams of incomes and then um accounts so you put in um where you want to track you know like the account that the money is coming from so like for me i have savings account just so that if i take anything out of there if i add i can also be able to track it i put in mpesa i put in cash that i actually have i put in my credit card debit card all those things so what the app allows you to do is in each of those sections like you can put in how much your how much is in your debit card how much is in your current account how much is in your savings account and then as you keep on using you just deduct from the various accounts then at the end of the month you can you know pick all accounts and then check where exactly most of the money is going to i don't know if that's like a decent explanation but i promise you it really works the only thing that i'd want added into the app is I don't know if they had a system whereby I could link all my accounts such that if I swiped my card, then automatically it would just record on the app. So Kenyan Techies, that's a job for you if you can come up with such an app. I've not seen one. Maybe if there's one, comment and let me know. My second tip is to write to-do lists every single day. And again, the trick is just to be as detailed as possible with this to-do list. I think it just gives you such a sense of achievement when you take something off of your to-do list. Especially if you tend to have one of those days where like, guy, what have I even done the entire day? then now you know you can look back at your to-do list and see you've ticked off all of these things then you stop feeling bad and then um the other thing that i wanted to mention is that it doesn't even have to be handwritten like i think a lot of phones these days do come in with um a to-do list or you can also download an app and if it's a notebook make sure it's something small enough that you can fit into your purse because you know it'll it be much easier to just take it out and take instead of writing it then leaving it at home and then at the end of the day coming to take it in i think it just helps you be so much more organized and manage your time better when you write everything down the next one is an app that i figure a lot of women have right now in their phones and it's a period tracker the one that i personally use is called my calendar and the reason that i really like it is because it's been very accurate <laughs> in like a really long time and i've tried a lot of different apps and a lot of them weren't really as accurate maybe it's because i've used this one um, for a really long time and it does rely on 
um, regular input so that it can become more accurate so this is how the app looks on the inside you just tap this cut when your period starts you can change the little picture that can either be a cat or a dog or any of the other animals they have so you tap it when your period starts and when it ends you also tap it again and it does give you days before your next period and days until you are next fertile and you can also set an alarm so that you can be alerted like two days mine is set to two days before my periods come so yeah, a period tracker is very important. You never want to be caught unaware. Next is for those people who like to have a particular theme on Instagram or even influencers who need to post particular Instagram posts on specific days. The app is called Preview and it does just exactly that. So you are allowed to upload pictures and see how your feed will look like before you commit you know so what you do is you upload the pictures and then you can move around and everything so that you see what matches what where it it really helps if you're going for that aesthetically pleasing um page personally i tried it it just made posting a lot harder and not as fun so what i use it for is for scheduling posts so like let's say if i want to post tomorrow and i feel like i'll forget i just put it on this app and i schedule it and the next day it gets uploaded which is very simple for me last but definitely not least is for my travel gang and i think we all know about skyscanner in case you don't know what skyscanner is it basically just helps you get the cheapest flights worldwide so what it does is you put in your the airport you'll be living from and the airport you want to land in your travel dates and it just searches um, all available airlines and gives you the best prices alternatively if you want an even better price is to be more flexible with the days you're living or the airport you want to land in then the prices can get really really low so the app that i think less people know about is called my seat guru and basically just helps you pick the perfect seat during a flight so how it works is you input your flight number and then it shows you the layout of the airplane so this is important because it gives you details like where there's a window you know how sometimes you can pick a window seat but you get there and there's really no window it's like that section where the window is blocked again if you're like me you like to sit at the windows that you can be able to take nice pictures of the view and everything but sometimes you're you're in a window seat but your view is very obstructed so it just really helps you see where exactly you want to place your seat it also gives you information about leg room if it's next to a toilet um yeah basically other things it even gives you like ratings of the seat so i think seat guru is a huge plus that is it for today's video don't forget to like comment share and if you're new to this channel please subscribe down below for new videos every mondays and thursdays always remember to work hard and have good intentions until next time bye guys